What is SAT? SAT is short for the propositional satisfiability problem, which asks, given a propositional formula, whether it's satisfiable. In other words, whether we can assign its variables to true or false, such that the entire formula evaluates to true. The development of the satisfiability problem is the result of a revolution. Uh, the revolution could happen in 2001, when a new kind of solvers was designed that was under two of those of magnitude faster than all the other ones. From a theoretical point of view, SAT is the embodiment of computational hardness, things that you can't solve, or at least can't solve efficiently. Instances that come from real-world applications are not random. As we see in this example here, this is a random instance. There is basically no structure visible. But if we look at some real-world instances, like these instances, they are from verification, we see that there is a lot of structure going on. And interestingly, SAT solvers are capable of exploiting this structure. You need two given different expertise. One is how to encode your problem into uh, a SAT problem, and then how do you effectively use SAT solvers to solve as efficiently as possible that SAT instances. SAT nowadays is also considered as easy from a practical point of view, because the engineering over the last 20 years brought us solvers for the SAT problem, the SAT solvers that are amazingly efficient and can solve instances with millions of variables very quickly. SAT solvers are used for, uh, since the 90s for, the for checking the design of hardware, so CPUs, and uh, they have been used also to check uh, software, for instance, for Windows device drivers, and making uh, the system, the overall system, much more stable. A SAT solver, when it solves even a very complex formula, we can trace back every single step of the reasons why the solver came to this conclusion and we can also independently verify that no mistake has been made during this computation. Yes, it's, uh, it's AI, but uh, it's not uh, the fancy AI that you will notice that you are using every day. Uh, the SAT AI is the one that allows to build the phone, to build uh, the CPU or to make sure the operating system is working fine an evolution has taken place. Solvers have become more and more powerful, but also much more general problems have been tackled with SAT technology. So is it easy to use a SAT solver? Well, yes, it's very easy. If you go to our paper, there is a link to KeySAT, which is one of the most uh, efficient SAT solvers nowadays, and it's open source. And uh, actually, most uh, undergraduate students play with uh, one SAT solver in their studies. So it's, uh, it's very easy. All the hard work is done by the solver, and this is brought to you by the SAT community.